See? Mm hmm. Self adjusting. Good. So, why don't you tell us, Gina, why you're here? Tell us, uh, give us a kind of rundown what you, what's wrong. Um, my left hip or buttocks uh, is in real, uh, I get real sharp pain. Gotcha. How far down? Uh, all the way down to my foot. Gotcha. And this is the worst pain ever, right? Yes. You've had pain before with this pain since 2004, but this is the worst ever, right? This is the worst gotcha. ever. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So she has foot pain too. Oh, same <laughs> yeah. side, yeah. But she has plantar fasciitis, mm -hmm. guys, and she's had that for four months, right? About, yeah. And then she has left knee pain. Yes. Uh, she has neck pain. A uh, little bit. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, she said in the past. Uh, history of headaches. She used to have headaches yeah. all the time, yeah. right? And so the thing, inter inter interesting thing for you guys out there is this, is that she's had a history of headaches. She didn't really get them taken care of back then. She just kind of went away. She's like, oh, I used to have them. I don't have any more. The reason for that is we compensate. We compensate for our pain, which means what? We do something different to compensate for the original pain, which we do. Now we do is we create another type of pain. So mm -hmm. this happens all the time, guys. So um, she had history of headaches. And so we know that she compensated for that. Tell us about the acid reflux. Oh, yeah. Um, when I eat spicy food, tomatoes. Once a week. About. And then the big thing is sleep. Oh, How yeah. crappy is your sleep? It's been horrible. horrible. Yeah, horrible, right? Three, four hours max. Gotcha. So go ahead and bend up, touch those, please. That's as far as you can go, right? Because your back pain. How much back pain do you have? Right now. On a scale like, of one to ten. Good night. Nine? Yeah. Go ahead and stand up. Like this, back like this, please. Um, five. Five? Yeah. Okay, with your neck, look at the ground, look at the ground please. The ground. No, just look at Okay, look at the ceiling. Any pain there? No. No, no looking up. So again, I only adjust neck, guys. She has no neck pain. So all you guys out there are like, why aren't she adjusting her back? Because she doesn't need her back adjusted. She needs her neck adjusted. And she doesn't have any pain there, but that's where I'm going to adjust it. So when you guys see her get better, you're going to ask me the stupid question, why adjust her neck? Because that's where the problem is, even though she doesn't have pain there. So it's not always where the pain is, guys. That's what you should understand. Okay. So let's also um, spread your feet a little bit. And do uh, not one of those chicken squats. Do a real squat. A real squat. Gotcha. Why could you only go that low? How much pain in your back? It hurts. Um, and how much in your butt? How much? Nine. Nine? Go ahead and do it again. That's about your knee. My knee, yeah. How about when that? I get up. How much pain there? Nine. In the knee though? In the knee? Oh, in the knee? Maybe seven. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, last one, guys. We're going to do uh, plantar fasciitis. Stand up on your toes, please. How much pain in your feet? Mm, about a five. Five. The left foot or the right foot or both? Left. Left foot. Mm -hmm. And that's been going on for months. Yeah. <sighs> X-rays are awful on her. She has a horrible kyphotic neck, goes completely the opposite way, really exaggerated. So easy, easy, easy to see her problem. Arrows are right there. Um, no, no real arthritis yet, but yes. the neck is jacked up. Uh, okay, boys and girls, we have a 19 millimeter right imbalance and right TMJ. Here we have a 10 millimeter short right leg and a little bit of whoop to do in the spine. Here we have a severe neck reversal with one third atlas wear and a gigantic hook off the back of the head. Here we have mild compression fracture working against her posture and constipation. This neck goes completely the opposite way, guys. Okay. You have this? No. Yeah. Okay. What was that like, Kiddo? Wow. I crack my own neck, but not like that. Yeah. How often do you crack your own neck? Every day. Every yeah. day? Um, How often? Every like two hours or something. Okay. And um, by the way, you should never self-adjust ever again. Oh. It's really, really bad for you. I told you. Yeah. She knows. She's not even a doctor. She knows better than you. You literally create more problems by self-adjusting. Really? Yeah. I know it's a habit, but we need you to break it. Okay. Wow, this thing is just like ridiculous yeah. in here. Whew. I feel that one. Yeah, I'm just touching this. The, the, mm -hmm. I'm touching the reverse curve, guys. That's how painful this is. Wow. Her neck is a piece of work. It is a piece of steel. We're just going to help Gina up here and uh, remind her not to twist and turn or she will undo my work. Now, I always like to find out how somebody's doing immediately after the adjustment. So let's listen in, see how she's doing. Mm, just kind of, my, I feel like my... A little dizzy a little bit? Yeah. A okay. little bit. Okay. Yeah. Now breathe in your nose, out your mouth. You're going to walk to the front door. It's going to help recalibrate your spine, help spread that neck adjustment through your whole body. Look straight ahead. Keep your arms to your side. Please go. Now, as many of you know, we're getting her up to walk her down the hall to recalibrate. We're going to spread that neck adjustment through her whole body by walking. 
Now we sent her twice because she was a little lightheaded the first time. Let's see how she's doing now. A little like uh, like swaying. Swaying, okay. Way. Yeah. A little off balance a little bit, right? Uh -huh. The reason she feels off balance, guys, is because we've just forced her body into better balance. So it just feels odd. She doesn't know how to compensate for it. So her body's going through change right now, okay? Go ahead and bend over, touch those, please. Okay, that was a nine before. What is that now? Um, Still a nine? Like an eight. Like an I eight. just feel so like a stretch different. on my butt. Gotcha, okay. Go back like this, please. That was a seven before. Okay. I don't feel a lot. So that's a lot. That's 100% better? Or what? Is it a one? I mean, like one or two. Gotcha. Now, uh, look at the floor, please. There's no pain there. Look at the ceiling. There's no pain there, right? Now, the fun one. Spread your feet a little bit. Okay. Let's Quiet. see you, baby. Yeah. Better. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's challenge it now. Let's go down a little lower. Do a real lower? squat. Just a stretch right here. Gotcha. How much? That was a nine out of ten a minute ago. Really eight. Eight. Uh -huh. Now knee. Let's do the knee real quick. The knee. Let's do the. Uh, go down. And tell me how the knee feels. Oh. That was a seven. Mm, like a three. Like a three. Gotcha. Now last one. Stand up your toes. That was a five. I think you said. Um. Probably like a three. Gotcha. I think I feel more like of a stretch. All. So, but your foot hurt before. It's yeah. hurt for four months. Is the foot feel different already? Yeah. Good. So again, um, she could do a lot better. We're gonna walk up her in the hall. We're gonna walk her in the building. She's gonna do a lot better. It's gonna help continue to recalibrate. But you see change. You can see the squat. She had so much more power. She went down. She thought it was easier. There's still pain because it's been spasm going on so long. But we're gonna get a follow up video on her. Uh, anything else you wanna add? Uh, thank you. You're welcome. So, <laughs> see you guys next time. How are you doing overall? Uh, I do feel much better. Um, you don't have to say it with such like, like inquisitiveness. No, it's like I feel better, or like I guess I feel better. <laughs> Sorry, I just more that's enthusiastic. For you guys. <laughs> more enthusiastic, exactly. But anyway, she's feeling better. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. So I feel much better. I see progress every day. Um, uh, the posture helps a lot. It alleviates the the pressure that I feel on my leg. Um, my sleep uh, got a little bit better, but I want it to be a hundred percent. Of course, yes, you are 100%. So, um, so she's doing better. Again, she's mentioning to you all the stuff that happens on a week plan. I tell everybody, again, if you guys come for one week, it's called the week of hope, I call it here. Because she had no hope before, and now she's like, I'm starting to see progress. Mm -hmm. She sees that we're on the right path. Yeah. Is it enough work? Hell no. Because muscle memory is a very fickle thing, and it's very difficult to make changes. Mm -hmm. And she says her posture is changing, and she's trying to change it. And the more she works on stuff we teach her here, the better she does, right? Yeah. But it's still not gone. And so we're working on her sleep right now, we're working on her posture, but she's made some breakthroughs. Tell us about the walk around the building, this last one. Yeah, this last uh, walk around the building was great. I didn't feel any pain. Yeah, and every day she's been here, pain on the, on the walk. Yeah, on the walk. Gotcha. I have to stop, adjust, and... Yeah, breathe. every day it's gotten better, like she says, the progress, but this last visit, this last lap, every day before, today, nothing. Nothing. Right. Perfect, so anyways, progress. I'm just trying to show you guys progress. So let's go over her symptoms. So the pain in your left leg, sciatica, was a nine out of 10 before. Where are we at with mm -hmm. that? How much better? Uh, right now, I would say maybe like a four going down. Well, that's a lot for her to say that because she's terrible with numbers, by the way. <laughs> so just give us a percentage, how much better? Uh, 10%, 20, 30, 40, yeah, it's like 60% in my book, what you just said, but I want to know what you tell the people what, how much better you feel. Yeah, um, I would say about 60%. Gotcha, okay. Yeah. And so, because uh, not everybody understands the 4 out of 10, stuff like that. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, left foot pain. I forgot about that. The foot pain? Yeah. I'm not complaining, so I guess it's not really there. Is okay. it better? You yeah, think? it's better, yeah. Okay, because you used to have it every day, right? Mm -hmm. You've had it for years, I think, didn't you? Before this sciatica. Yeah, a, couple, gotcha. uh, a few months, yeah. A few months. I thought yeah. I had it for years. Oh, oh, my bad. I like to exaggerate drama, <laughs> drama with the camera. Uh, left knee pain. Left knee, um, just when I drive, it comes back. Gotcha, but okay. as soon as I walk it off, it Walk it off, away. again, knee pain is a reflection of poor balance in the body. She also has shin pain that comes back, and this is something we've been working on back and forth, and there's full disclosure here. But again, she walked on the block with no shin pain, no mm -hmm. knee pain. No knee so, pain. God damn, we're getting her better here, and it's yeah. awesome. So we got a lot of stuff to still work on, but it's so awesome in one week. Yeah. Okay, so acid <laughs> reflux. Um, I haven't gotten. Is that different? You don't get. You don't give very often, but is that? No. Does it feel different at all? Um, 
Mm-hmm. If it doesn't, it's okay. I'm just kind of curious if there's any chance. She has it once a week. Yeah, no, I have not got any. Gotcha. So, again, it's not unusual yet, but one, I just want to go over all the symptoms that she came with. Anything else you want to add? Yeah. Um, no, just feeling better and better every day. Good, good, good. Now, if you watch the first video, guys, her neck, when I touched her neck right here, like I'm just touching right the same way I touched it back then. I'm just touching right where the reverse curve is. She has a kyphotic neck, really severely kyphotic. And I just got a request this morning for tell me, tell me what, what are you doing? What does the x-ray show you? Where should you adjust? The kyphosis, we adjust the apex of the kyphosis, the curvature, the maximum end of the curvature. To what? To take the curvature and reverse it the other way. But when I do this, how much pain now? Mm. Yeah, first day, look back, rewind back, guys. It was painful. And so this morning's adjustment went excellent. I'm gonna do this again. Yeah. Beautiful. Nice. How has that changed over the week for you? The, how has the adjustment felt over the week? Has it changed? Feels yeah, like, better. And what does it what does it mean better? Does it feel easier? Like, does it feel more yeah, better? Like, does it feel like you like it or you don't it doesn't hurt as much? What is it? Maybe like looser in a way. Looser. Yeah. When I push in her neck this morning, she you can see her tighten up a tiny bit, but nothing like Monday. <laughs> this is five days ago, is that crazy? Mm. Monday was awful. So go ahead and bend over, touch your shoulders, pose real quick to see where you're at. Okay, how much pain in your back right there? Um, like a five. Five, got mm -hmm. you stand up. Go back like this. I don't feel anything. No pain? No. Gotcha, and take your feet, spread your feet and squat with your please. Okay, actually do a squat. Wow. How much pain in your back and your knees? Not so much my back, my buttocks. It's like a maybe like a five. Gotcha. So she's still in pain, guys, but she actually has her quality of life has increased a lot. And I wanted to show you this again, full disclosure, not perfect, but way, way, way happier. Yeah. Good. Anything else you want to add? Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> he's, he's the best. He's really good. I appreciate it. Very, Thank you so much. Obviously, very knowledgeable. I think we say obviously oh, smart ass because <laughs> they already know that stuff in a nice way. <laughs> nice but, way. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. You're right, welcome. Done to my neck. <laughs> so he's got to straighten that shit out. Anyways, thanks guys. See you guys next time. <laughs>